thank you. I thank you. Are you done? <laughs> thank you. Yes, I'm done. Well, you handled that well. I think so too. I'm Jay. Welcome to Press Play. All this time at the racetrack has got me thinking of what it would feel like to win a real race. <sighs> well, maybe we can recreate it. Describe it. Um, okay. Well, the wind in my face as I fly down the track. Okay, got it. <sighs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm gripping the steering wheel tightly. Okay, steering wheel. <sighs> Where, where did you get this? Well, this is not my first time pretend racing. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then the checkered flag flying right in front of my face. Okay. Uh, yeah, Emma. Oh, yeah. Okay, Jay, Jay. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for trying, bud. That was fun. Not like the real thing, but fun. Wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ooh, let's do it! Three, Three two, two, one, press play! Boom! Oh, where are we? Oh, well, it looks like we're in the front seat of a dirt track racer, and we're racing! Oh. You two better get your goggles on! Oh. Uh, 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 too late. A cat. <laughs> Never seen that before. Well, who are you? The name's Pinecone. As you can see, I'm a talking car freshener. Oy, oy, oy. Why do they call you pine cone? Because they smell like pine cones. Oh. Anyway, I'm here to help you win this race, which right now means taking a hard left. Well, bud, you gotta learn to duck. This is awesome. How many times do we have to go around this track? Uh, seven times to victory. Just like that one Bible story. You know, the one where Joshua marched around uh, Jerry Lau? Is that right? Uh, was it Mary Rose? No, it was, a, it was for sure a Jerry involved. Jerry Co. Yeah, Jericho. Jericho, that's it. It comes from the book of Joshua, chapter five. Uh, God told Joshua that God was giving Jericho into the hands of the Israelites, but the walls of Jericho were strong. They would only find victory with God. Wow, sounds crazy. Like this jump ahead. Any pointers? Uh, just one. Hold on! Oh, oh, that was great! I thought you got sick in race cars. <laughs> Different story when I'm driving. Well, God was the one driving Joshua and the Israelites. It looked impossible, but with God's instructions, they could do it. Speaking of instructions, take a hard left now! Oh, there's a lot of random stuff flying in this car. Maybe roll up the window? Yeah, it's almost like we're filming a show and someone thinks it might be funny. Well, I think it's hilarious. Anyway, in Joshua 5, 2 through 5, it says, Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its king and its fighting men. March around the city once with all the armed men. I'll uh, do this for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets and ram's horns in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear the sa them sound a long blast on the trumpets, have the whole army give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the army will go up. Everyone straight in. Why'd they have to do all that? Couldn't God just knock down the walls the first day? Sure, Jay, but doing it the way God said would help them remember that they could only have victory with God, not on their own. Kind of like how we couldn't have taken the lead in this race without you, Pinecone. <laughs> you're kind. And you're right. Speaking of right, you're right now! Oh! Wow! <laughs> Joshua and the Israelites needed to know that victory only came with God in the driver's seat. They followed God's instruction down to the letter, and sure enough, when the trumpet sounded and they shouted, the walls fell. Victory! 
Oh, wow. I've never seen you so excited about a Bible story. Checkered flag victory, we won. Oh, good job, guys. Ah, we couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> well, it might not be cool for me to say it, but you're right. <laughs> I don't even know if you're old enough to drive. Well, the point is, you couldn't have won this victory without me. <laughs> Just like the Israelites couldn't have taken Jericho without God. <laughs> With God, there is victory. <laughs> well, <laughs> looks like we gotta go. Thanks so much for everything. Just doing what any talking car freshener in a dirt track racer would do. <laughs> Ready, Jay? Do the secret handshake with us. <laughs> Man, I'm kind of bummed. I wanted to race again. Well, I'm glad to be back somewhere that I can get hit in the face with dirt. The face with dirt. Face with dirt. Come on. Today's press play threw us in the front seat of a dirt track racer in the middle of a race. Pinecone, the talking car freshener, helped us win the race and taught us about how Joshua and the Israelites, with God at the wheel, made the walls of Jericho fall. It was wild to win the dirt track race and everything, but when it comes to real life, I know that only with God, there is victory. Now it's time to drop the dirt. What? <sighs> drop the verse. Here we go, are you ready to drop the verse? Tell them, Emma. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go right now. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful, Hebrews 10.23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful, Hebrews 10.23. One more time, let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful, Hebrews 10.23. One more, let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10, 23. Woo! Hebrews 10, 23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful.